Oh. Oh, welcome back to Keep On Creating and today we're going to be jumping back into our Printify project. Let's do this. Welcome back to Keep On Creating. Today we're going to be taking our Printify items that we've been creating over the last few episodes, our Crypto Kelt Co, and putting it into a Shopify store. But first of all, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and thank you to all the support I've been getting so far. You guys are awesome. What I'm going to be doing is showing you step by step how to set up your Shopify store and then integrate the all important Printify into Shopify with all those products that we've been creating to show you how easy this actual process is. Now this is actually the first time I've ever used Shopify and I was kind of a little bit blown away how easy this is actually to do. And let's not forget that all important crypto payment option hidden in Shopify. So with all of that, let's jump into it and show you how to do this. And the first thing we've got to do is go to the internet and go to shopify.com. So pick whichever browser you use as an internet browser and go to shopify.com. So I've got it up there. And we are simply just going to go to this start free trial because we want to start off free. Things are good free to begin with. And then you pay later. So that's the way life works. Hmm. So as you can see, we've got a free 14 day trial of Shopify. So just gonna sign up. So everybody's done this in the past. You've all signed up to those new sellers. You don't really want to get something anyway. So just sign up here. So I am going to use this email address of mine. Create your store name. So ours is gonna be Crypto Kelt Co. Okay, so Crypto Kelt Co. That's what we're gonna be doing. Create your store. And once we've done that, you're gonna obviously want to save your password. You can save your password if your internet browser offers this a service. So you go ahead and fill in all your jargon over here. Now I did select those three options and where alternate platforms to sell on the Facebook, Instagram, Google, and the Shopify bar button. I did click those three options. You can skip that if you want, but I just selected them for now. And then you're just gonna add in all your address details and click enter my store. And then we are presented with our dashboard. So this is what the dashboard looks like. It tells you how many days left you've got in your trial, important, obviously don't let that expire. And we've got to add our product, which we're gonna do via Printify. It's super easy once we've installed the app, customize theme, add a domain, set up sales channels and get paid. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is first of all, let's customize the theme. So let's just click on this button right here. Click on that and up pops our current theme, which is the default Shopify theme. So you're more than welcome to use this theme if you want. It's really easy to install new themes, free themes, bought themes, whichever themes you want. Let's go ahead and explore some free themes. I'm looking for something really simple because I haven't really got any images at this point. Um, there we go, it's perfect, a simple option, that's pretty appropriate. So if you've got some good photographical skills and you want to maybe even use the Printify image mockups, you can use those over here. I mean, you can just download them and re-upload them. But for now, I'm going to select this simple option. You can see it comes in three styles included. So light, toy, beauty, I'm liking the light version. It's just really simple. And uh, it comes with the sidebar menu. I love sidebar menus. Uh, product image zoom, image animations, and product recommendations. So let's just click on this green button over here, add to theme library, Blink. And that should start installing it. So yeah, there we go. So it's got the little roulette wheel of fortune spinning down there like a DJ. Whoop, whoop. Uh, so while that's installing, in actual fact, let's just discuss logos. So when you've got your logo saved and you, you well, when you've designed your logo, should I say, when you've got your logo designed, make sure you when you save it for the web, you can save it in an SVG file, which a lot of people do now, but I normally just save it as a PNG file with a transparent background. I don't save it as a JPEG because if you save it as JPEG, it comes with a big block behind it. We don't want a big block behind it. So you've got a black background or a white background or a colored background, or even some funky theme background, you want your logo to look professional and not like a big white block. You want it to just be almost like cut out. So make sure you save it as a PNG with a transparent background and at a decent resolution. Pick about 400, 500, somewhere around there. We can always scale it down within the Shopify app. So let's go back to our theme library down here. And you can see it says simple and it says customize. So I'm gonna click on that button over there. 
and it should give us a preview of our store. So there we go, perfect. Phew, this is working out well. So Crypto Calculo, I think that's where our logo is gonna go. This is where our product's gonna populate. Talk about your brand, so that's obviously talk about your brand. Let's just click over here in the top left, so it says header, click on that, and there we go. So have your logo ready, you're gonna say select image, you're just gonna simply drag and drop it into here, and then select it like I've done over here. So select it and click on select. And that should, there we go, so it's populated it over here on our design. Now, if you wanted it bigger, I would like it a bit bigger, so say 250, so you can see why I'm saying have that, your logo at a good resolution, so it's nice and crisp, crispy, crisp. Now, I'm gonna click save, and if you wanted to get a head start on talking about your brand and give a little bit more text to it, text is always good for your search engine optimization. So you just click on this rich text over here, super, super easy, just run a little bit about your brand. I'm gonna have to try and move my keyboard forward because I can't see past my microphone currently. So Crypto Cult Co, okay. Well, it's actually Crypto. Yeah, it's Crypto Cloud Core. So then I am just going to, you can click save and you can see your text is writing, being updated over here. And you can write a bit about your brand with this um, text over here. And that's how easy it is to change all this peoples. Right, let's head back over to the dashboard and I'm gonna click on this exit button over here. So we've got our theme all sorted. Now we need to integrate our Printify platform or Printify plugin into Shopify. So there's two ways we can do that. We can basically go in and add it from Shopify. These names are so close. So we're gonna go add it in from Shopify and integrate Printify to it. So you can do it if you just go to your dashboard and you can see apps, you click on apps and you can say customize your store and you can basically just search for the Printify app or any other apps that you want to add in. So if I just type in Printify, print, not print to print, if I uh, hit enter, you'll see here is the app over here. So you just click on that and you can just say add app. I'm actually gonna do this a different way around. I'm going to go into the Printify store itself. So I'm gonna load up the Printify page. So this is our page over here. I'm gonna load this up because what I've gone and done is I've actually gone and created another store via WordPress and added into the keep on creating web store and added a few bits of merchandise into there, which I might say looks pretty dang good. If you wanna go check it out, go have a look, link in the description below. You can more than welcome to go have a look at that. So once you've got Printify loaded up over here, you can see, just make sure you've got your right store selected. So you can see my keep on creating one is connected and the Crypto Clothing Co is not connected. So I'm gonna click on Crypto Clothing Co, just say maybe later. And um, at the top over here, it says not connected. So I'm gonna click on that. Now you can see these are all the different platforms you can choose from. So if you're more comfortable with one of these, go ahead and use them. We're gonna be using this Shopify version over here. So I'm simply gonna say connect. Now we just need a little bit of information from it. So you can see this web address over here. If you go back to your Shopify account, go down to, let's go to the home page. It's gonna be the quickest way for me to do this. Add domain, okay, click on add domain and you can see this is the current domain it's linked to. So if you've got any other domain that you've put in, select that, that's the copy that we're looking for. So I'm just gonna copy that, come on, see. Head over to my Printify shop over here and just go Command V, put that in and say connect. And there we go. So it's popped up with this window saying it needs access to all this data over here. You're gonna say install app. And what we have here now is our Printify store within our Shopify store. So you can see over here, we've got our basically our Shopify dashboard with Printify within it. So if we head over here to my store, click on that, you can see all the products that we've gone and generated. So there's a list of products here that we've done. What I would suggest you do is make sure that you have changed this title text over here and the descriptive, descriptive text so that it's a little bit more unique to whatever you're selling or your brand. Once you've done all that and you're happy with everything, you can just basically hit publish, okay? And it's basically publishing and you can still come back and edit it if you'd like. So I'm just gonna go through these and click publish, publish, publish. So publish all of these things that we've done. And once we've finished publishing all our items, you can see right down here in this little section, it says see in store. That means we've 
publish those to our actual Shopify store. So you can click on one of these, say, I'm just gonna click on this bottle. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, you can see the main image that we've got at this point is this one over here with the white background, a little bit of your title over there. So that's been added to it. Now, if we go back to our Shopify store, you can actually go across here to your products option. So click on that and you'll see a list of all the products that you've added. So the one we've just clicked on is this audio bottle. So just click on that and this is where all our text is now. So if you do want to change the text within Shopify, you can do it all over here. Now you can see your Printify images are all down here. Now say you want to just switch these around, you can easily just drag, just drag this one and just replace it over there. I'll replace it over there and now this is going to be my main image so it's so easy to use this and then something else on top of that if you want your product to be featured on the main home page of your website just go over here where it says collections click on that and click on home page so if you just do that click save now this will populate the home page of your website so now if we just load up our web page you can see it displays over here and you can start populating your home page with all your printified product and making it look just plain old awesome mm-hmm now there is one more thing I do want to cover and that is how to get paid. Now I did mention right in the beginning, Shopify basically allows you to get paid in crypto. So if we head across to our dashboard over here, so if you just click on home, it will bring up this page over here. Click on get paid and complete setup. Now you can choose between the different options between your Shopify payments, PayPal, Amazon Pay and third-party providers, alternate payment methods, manual payment methods. If you go ahead and select this, choose alternative payments. So if you click on that, you'll see this it presents us with a whole load of different payments that we can actually choose from. So you can see it's got everything from all these things here, Klarna, uh, all the way down to, there it is there, Coinbase Commerce. So if you click on Coinbase Commerce, it basically you just need to connect connect it to your coinbase accounts with your email and an api key and it allows you to accept ethereum bitcoin dogecoin bitcoin cash all of those type of things not that i think one of our products will be anything like a bit one of the bitcoins but obviously we can we can aim high that's how easy it is to integrate our printify store with an account like shopify you can as i said you can brand it as much as you want if you've got those good photographs or you want to use the photographs provided in the mockups from printify you go ahead and do that get your own store up and running and that's how easy it is to integrate your printify store into a shopify store or a similar platform like that now as i mentioned i did do this with the wordpress website because i'm a little bit more familiar with wordpress and the keep on creating shop website i've actually put a few little items on there just to see how easy it was to actually do yeah yeah set up a shop it's easy to do to sell merchandise and as i also mentioned you can definitely take this further you can go purchase a theme or use one of those other themes with more elements where you can put more photography into it and create more of a brand presence around it which always is a good thing to do now you can use as i said those printify mock-ups that we used in the previous episode i showed you how to do those you can more or less use those if you wanted to but if you wanted your own and you wanted to create more product presence and brand presence obviously all you would need to do is pick another theme and populate it very similar to how we did all the logos and everything and it's really that easy to do just to pop just to take it from printify install the app and put it onto shopify or any other similar platform like wordpress and that about brings us to the end of another episode so make sure to hit that subscribe button smash the like button keep on creating and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out of here.